What's up, Cardinal Nation? Steve Leslie, YSN Live, your home of Campfield football all season long and awful proud of it. Week three, player profile sponsored by Coca's Pizza. They are the sponsor for Campfield football this season. And we'll have the big game Friday night against New Philadelphia, YSNlive.com slash Campfield. So hats off to Steve Coca and Coca's Pizza. But first of all, we're proud to be joined by player profile senior Chris Samarone. First of all, Chris, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you guys for having me. I was very excited to join you guys tonight. Well, we're glad to have you. All right, let, let's dive into Chris Samron a little bit. Let, let's uh, let the Canfield Nation tell everybody a little bit about Chris Samron. Talk about your family a little bit and some things that are important to Chris Samron. Uh, just a little bit around my family. Uh, my uh, dad and grandfather and I both played football at YSU. I have a football background. I enjoy playing the game. I love it. Uh, my sister Serena, she plays uh, Division Two basketball at Finley. Okay. And then I have a younger sister who is a junior at Canfield. She also plays basketball. And then uh, I have my mom, Krista. She uh, she was a runner when she was younger, and she still does run to this day. And she played basketball. I get my speed from her. Okay. But uh, yeah, and I have two older brothers, but they uh, my, actually my brother Zach holds the sack record at Canfield. And 14 in a season. Wow, yeah. that's a pretty good season right there. Yeah, and then my brother Max, he uh, wrestled. Okay. So. Well, the Samarone family, a great name. Uh, your mom and dad are great people. Obviously, I know how proud they are of you, Chris. Talk, talk a little about that. Your dad was such a good player and had such a great career. Um, how, how is that for you? How important is that? I mean, how does that work with you? Do you, you talk football a lot with them, game night after games, or is there a lot of football talk? Uh, just like. I can kind of say he's like a coach at home. Okay. So uh, I know he wa he actually he has my huddle uh, stuff like my my username my password. So he watches a lot of film <laughs> on the team on the team that we play that week. So he'll watch it the, a couple of days before, and then the Thursday night, I'll usually go with him and my uncle to our house or my uncle's house, and we'll break it down a little bit, just some things, the keys to work on. But uh, he's uh, he's helped me a lot with uh starting at, not not starting football at a young age but starting like uh, flag football uh lifting i sure. really enjoy weightlifting he did too when he was younger and he really got me into it but he's been with me every step of the way during this uh my process of playing well that's awesome your dad's a great guy your mom and dad are great people great family and, and i know how proud they are of you chris we're with chris samarone player profile can't feel cardinal style week three Sponsored by Coca's Pizza. Again, they'll have the big game, YSNlive.com slash Canfield against New Philadelphia. We will get into that with Chris later. But let's dive into last week. Um, Notre Dame Cathedral Latin. Let's be honest. They 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 laid it on you guys last year. Yeah. Uh, and really and this year to come out and uh, do what you guys did to a very good football team. Talk about that performance for you guys as a football team. Uh, it was just, uh, it actually makes me chuckle because we, uh, <laughs> we were really excited to play those guys. Uh, it was kind of a redemption game sure. a little bit. Uh, they, they laid it on us two years ago and we were really, I mean, 365 days from that game, we were really ticked off and we were excited to play them. And then that, that first, uh, that first drive we had on uh, defense going three quick three and out and then getting the offense going scoring for the first two minutes, three minutes. And we were just excited and we just played hard the entire game. I mean, it was, it was exciting. It was awesome. We, we just played, uh, we all, we all played together, flew to the ball. It was just, it's a really good game. Yeah. You know what, Chris, I could tell when I talked with coach Pav last week in the coach's corner, you could see that little look in his eye that it was not that, Every game isn't a big one, but you could see that there was a little fire under coach to get that. Let's dive in with you. You had a great game, offensively and defensively. Let's go offense first. Had some huge runs. I was able to watch the game at the studio. Big time runs. But, uh, you know, when I talked with Coach Bab, the offensive line, it was a little bit of a concern. There's some mute there. But it seems like through two games, those guys continue to get better every week to leave good backs yeah. like yourself holes. Talk about them a little bit. Uh, you know what? Our offensive line, our, my past three years, I mean, we haven't had a bad offensive sure. line. I mean, they, we, we always say before a game, our quarterback, Ethan Fletcher, always tells us, hey, we go as you guys go. 
So if they're they're playing well, they're blocking, they're moving guys everywhere. The backfield trusts them. We're gonna play as they go. We go as they do. And then our offensive line coach, Coach Simonero, I know he he really works on them a lot. He does. He gets on them all the time in practice. He he's a he's a great coach for them. And I know as a fullback, I'm not always with him. I'm always I'm usually with Coach Pav, our running back coach, and. Uh, Whenever I get the chance to be with him, I always try to little pick at him a little bit, trying to learn stuff like technique sure. and footwork because I know he teaches all those guys that stuff, and he he's awesome to them, and he loves all of his players too. He takes care of all of us. Well, that's a very good coaching staff. You had some big runs, great offensive line. Uh, Ethan Fletcher and Brock Lowry had a great game as the sophomore quarterback. Yeah. Is, is that is there a little bit of an adjustment for you, Chris, as a fullback with different quarterbacks? Does anything change with those? Those guys both look like very capable players that, yeah. that can hurt you in many big different ways, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, you know, I kind of see them as similar, just not as – not Ethan not being as big as he is. But, sure. Uh, they both can uh, run the ball. So I trust, like, I mean, tough situation. Brock can get loose and uh, tote the rock. Same with Ethan. Ethan's just a little more shiftier because he's, he's smaller. But he can he can bounce around. But I'm comfortable with both of them back there. Nothing really changes when uh, either of them are in the game. Well, that, that's awesome. We're with Chris Amaron, player profile week three, Campfield style, senior. All right, I'm going to ask you before we get into defense, what does Chris Amaron prefer, offense or defense? Oh, I'm defensive guy. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm a little shocked by that. I'm not going to lie. I was, you know, you're every time I turn the game on at the studio, Chris Amaro was busting a 30 yard run. But let, let's dive into defense. I said this before that Coach Hurdley <laughs> was a very, very good football player. Yeah. I know how he is with you guys defensively. I told Coach Pav this I, for years now, in all the years you've been at Canfield. You very rarely see a lot of teams scoring on Campfield's defense. How good can this defense be this year? You guys are off to a great start. To, sh to do what you did to Notre Dame Cathedral Latin, that's impressive. And it yeah. starts with a very good defense. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We, uh, I, I, we owe the coaches a lot because they are just – Coach Hurley, our Coach Roberts, Coach Terashotti – uh, they are, they harp on us every day, you know, with just uh, the little things matter, knowing sure. your checks, uh, breaking down, running the ball, knowing your assignments. They, uh, they, they really harp on us about that stuff and could, they take it, they take it very seriously. I mean, we always have a period in practice where, well, we're, that's uh, where we just line up the other opponent's offense and we, we go through each and every single one of their uh, formations and make sure we line up correctly to them and stuff like that. Well, that's a shout out to your assistant coaches. Great job yeah. there. And Coach Hurdley and the de defensive staff continue to uh, put up those types of numbers. And it's going to be a special year for Campfield. On your end, senior linebacker, I know Coach Pav said all three linebackers are back from last year. That has to be huge for this football team and this defense. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. It's. I'm very fortunate that I get to work with two other guys, Connor Riss, our outside linebacker, and uh, Michael Crawford, our uh, will linebacker. Uh, they're, they're both very good. I mean, they help me out a lot because uh, as the Mike, you kind of control the defense a little sure. bit, calling checks and stuff. So I depend on Michael to get the defense lined up or get the calls in so I can line the defense up. But uh, Connor, too, I mean, they both they both help me out a lot, and I'm very fortunate I get to have those guys with me. Well, that's good to have those three linebackers, and this Campfield football team fans is off to a great start. Two big wins over Holland, Notre Dame, Cathedral, Latin. Week three coming up, we're with Chris Samarone, player profile sponsored by Coca's Pizza. New Philadelphia, you told me off air, this may be the best game of the year so far for, for this football team. Yep. Tell all these Campfield fans a little bit about what to expect from New Philadelphia. Uh, they like to run the ball. Uh, statistically, we found 74% of the time they run the ball in 26, uh, they throw. So uh, they're big up front. They uh, they got a couple dudes like to get after it. They got a big they got a big back. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge for us this uh, this Friday. It's gonna be fun. Though. This that has to be right up Chris Samarone's alley with a yeah. team that you know is gonna run the football in yeah. that space and box. No, that that's a great uh, a thing. We'll have the game for you. YSNlive.com from Campfield Stadium, seven o'clock. Sponsored by Coca's Pizza. And, and let's be honest, talk about that, I, I guess, is my next question. I know you guys have a great band. You get great student support. With this pandemic, the limit of tickets, 
do you notice the big difference in in a stadium when you're playing? You have to. Uh, you know what? That first game against Hound when we ran out, it was a little uh, it was a little eerie because usually, <laughs> I mean, first game of the year, I don't care where you're at. If you're the away opponent, you're gonna hear our our fans. I mean, our first game of the year always we have a big crowd, sure. big student section. And it's just loud. But when we ran out, we ran out of the tunnel, that little moment when we all get excited, we break down, and then the – the, uh, and the sorry, we stand for the flag and stuff. It's – uh, it was after that, it was like for maybe four minutes stuff, we're going to send the kickoff team out. It was quiet. It was right. like you, hear, you could hear like a pin drop. I was like, what the heck? Because usually you have the student section cheering or playing sure. music and stuff. It was just weird. But you, but usually if you're in, you're in the game playing, you really don't realize it. Right, uh, that's the big thing. But the most important thing is Canfield High School's playing football. That's the yeah. most important thing and doing a very good job of it. Very They'll play New that. Philadelphia Friday night. We'll have it for you on YSNlive.com. Slash Canfield, we'll have that for you with Gary Niddle and the boys calling that. They, they do a great job for us. But, Chris, we're going to play a little rapid fire. I'm going to have some questions for you. Whatever comes to your mind first, uh, let the Canfield Nation know a little bit behind the scenes with Chris Samron, the linebacker, fullback for the Canfield Cardinals. All right, let's go. Uh, favorite color Gatorade? Ooh, uh, probably red. I'm a okay. Big punch guy. All right, we're going to go some schooling stuff. Chris Samarone's favorite class so far? Math. Math. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, so off of that, Chris Samarone's favorite teacher. Now, I don't want to put you in a bind now. <laughs> That's tough. You, you Everybody's going to be watching this tomorrow. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, a little shout out to your favorite teacher. Yeah, you know what? I, I have I have to go with. There's two guys. I mean, okay. they're, they're the best. Like I had I had Coach Hersley my freshman year. Okay. And I had Coach Seminero at the same time in the class. So it was it was fun. We had a really good time. But okay, I'd say those two definitely. So shout out to both coaches. There you go. All right, uh, your favorite college football team. Uh, Buckeyes. Okay. That's a shame that we're not watching any Buckeye yeah. football, but uh, hopefully if they're maybe, I still hold my fingers crossed that yeah. they do have a season, but it's not looking that way to me. No. But all right, your favorite pro football team? Uh, Cleveland Browns. You're with me. Okay. Cleveland Browns this year. Do Are we going to, is is this to get over the hump here? Uh, you know what? Every year you kind of get the same type of feel that, you know, this could be a big season. Right. We look, we look really good in camp. Uh, preseason, we were undefeated. Exactly. But, I mean, you don't know until you start no. playing. So. Uh, yeah, all right. So here's my I question. Is your dad a Browns fan? Yes. All my okay, family. so he's been there like I have for a lot of years. So you're young yet. Yeah. You will get used to the Cleveland Browns. Trust yeah. me. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm interested about this one. Chris Samarone's hype music before a game. Uh, rock. Okay. Oh, ACDC. Metallica. There you go. See, we can, we're getting a lot of rap stuff lately. I'm with, uh, rock has to get you ready to play football. Yeah, I, that's that's what I live off. That's my stuff. Okay, that's a good answer. All right, the last thing uh, before we let you go, and, and it's been a pleasure to interview you. I've known your family. Uh, you represent Canfield High School very well. The football team uh, from DJ and all of us at YSN, we're proud to be a part of it. Chris's biggest role model in football to this point? My father, definitely. Okay. And that's a great answer. That's why I, I kind of knew you were going to say that. That's what we'll, we'll close with. I know your dad. I watched your dad play, but I know how proud your dad has to be with your mom to sit up in the stands and watch you, number one, get a senior year that, that was not looking very good, yeah. let's be honest. So that's a great answer. Uh, let's go show New Philadelphia and those big old boys – how we play football here yep. in the yo uh good luck and i'm sure we'll talk again and it's been a pleasure to uh have you on tonight and best to you the coaches and the boys and let's go get win number three friday yep. night thank you guys for having me i really appreciate it, it was awesome all righty chris thanks yep